Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. My name is Spanj and in today's episode we're going to be getting underway here in the Pioneer. This is the, this is my uh, starter CV. Uh, spawned it in in the last episode having after having a lot of fun with this platform. <laughs> Let's try and get it to spawn in. So this platform is nice and sort of shaped-ish uh, to the contours of the Pioneer now. Um, there's some extra sort of uh, support beams and stuff around it. I've also built this ramp uh, down to the compound here uh, Which will allow me to get hover vessels from the hangar bay underneath it up into the pioneer above So we are this is this is probably uh, one of the, the biggest features of the base that I, I want to build here um, I put a temporary elevator shaft here down to this uh, SV this large SV pad down there and I built another SV pad just over there where you can see the nightshade is parked. I've added an extra tower and expanded the wall across a bit. Uh, and this sort of area will be uh, the warehouse when I actually finally get around to doing that. Uh, this here, where I've got this armored concrete, I'm going to build a, uh, a tower-like structure that will kind of intersect this pad and it will be there Will be the elevator shaft up to uh, this pad uh, that's just a temporary one for now so i want this tower to be you know quite quite good looking a centerpiece if you will to this base so that's that's all planned for the future but for today i want to get underway in the pioneer and i want to start our journey um warping around the solar system to try and find some of the rare ores that will set us up with some of the the higher level stuff like auto miners and things like that so what I need to do is I actually need to customize the pioneer slightly um, I should probably do this in creative mode and update the blueprint I, I think I will uh, do that at some point but for now let me show you the updates that I do make to it so that uh, you can well you can see why I would do them basically so I've got with me some steel blocks and I've got some force field blocks here the first thing I'm gonna do is add some force field blocks because these these shutter doors here, or these ramp blocks, I should say, they're not shutter doors; they're ramps. They don't, they don't keep oxygen in. Um, so what I like to do is add these force field blocks. Not that one though. I think it's this one. It's difficult to tell. Yeah, it's that one. So these force field blocks, I like to add them all the way along this opening and this one as well. I can't see them at the moment because the ship is not powered up so let me just add some power to it there we are and there you go so that keeps this um, area airtight uh, but I'm not quite finished yet because there's four additional holes in this airtight room ah they must have updated it I don't think thrusters I didn't think thrusters used to be airtight, but uh, maybe they are. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going to cover them up though because mm, I just I just don't like the looks of backs of those thrusters. I'd much rather have just uh, some blocks over there like that and some shaping just to sort of meld them into the ceiling, as it were. Uh, a bit like that. And there we go. That just covers up those thruster blocks there at the top of the hangar bay. So there you go. That's that's pretty much the extent of the modifications. Uh, tell a lie. There's this here which will block air. So let me remove that and replace it with a glass door, which we know, we now know, uh, allows air to travel through. It's not airtight. I also want to take an advanced constructor with me. This thing comes with uh, two large constructors. Let me just put it in power save mode. Nice power save mode switch signal logic that I added into this build. Um, so I'm going to take this constructor out here. I'm going to go and get um, one of the large constructors. Before I do that though, let me just fill everything up. Except I don't have the ammo on me. That's fine. I'm going, I'm going long. I'm going to be away from the base for a while. So let me just unload almost everything into this box actually. I don't need the force field blocks. I can um, I can lose those. Uh, don't need that. I just unload everything that I'm not going to be using right now. That would make more sense. 
That stuff can go back. So I'm going to grab one of the advanced constructors out of the base. And I'm going to take that with me with a bunch of ores and supplies and things like that to keep me going. I'm going to try and sort of scavenge and scrounge and harvest and all sorts uh, while I'm out. So I'm not going to take uh, too much of this with me. I'll take some water with me, uh, probably some grapes, and a, and a round, at least a round of the of the garden. I'll put most of the stuff back though. So I'm going to take this with me. Uh, some more oxygen. Yep, that's a good idea. Here's that water. The drones just do not give up. They keep on coming. Uh, one other thing I will need is some wood. Let me got some wood in here somewhere. I'll need that ammo. I need that. Um, I may as well take one of the smaller stacks of the nitrocellulose here so that I can make ammunition. Oh, and, and the plastic. The plastic would be a good shout. I always overlook plastic. You never, you never sort of, I never remember plastic. It, it does come in handy. So everything else I think I can leave for now. Um, grab another copper stack. It's got three iron, two silicon, two copper. Uh, sorry, four iron and one and a half Promethean oxygen water. I think that's that's a good. Oh yeah, and actually take this, don't I? Come in with me, sir. Let's head back to the ship. Yeah. Uh, added this elevator shaft in. This goes to that level and it also goes to this level uh, where I've got the nightshade, which I will need. So let's put that on board. And eventually, I upgrade the Pioneer. I upgrade it to have a drill turret on the front. I upgrade it to have a repair bay in the middle there. Uh, that's all to come once I actually get the materials to, to upgrade the Pioneer. And then obviously beyond the Pioneer, um, I, I think I'll look to get, bring the, the Naganata in, which is an absolute beast for PvE. Uh, I think that's pretty much overkill, but <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Let's chuck all of this in there. Let's chuck the ammo in there. Let's turn the turrets off for now. And let's dump the oxygen in there. I'm taking plenty of oxygen with me. Uh, and I've got extra water with me in case I need to make more. So we should be okay. Is there anything else? What else do I need? Right, I need foodstuffs. Let's grab some foodstuffs. Basically half the fridge. And it's going to be so much nicer when I have this tower here. I have some ideas. Um, I'm going to try some... I'm going to try some new techniques with it. Mainly... Uh, you remember the angel spire? I kind of, I think in my head I have something like the angel spire as a centerpiece there, a kind of angled, mostly glass tower in the middle that just looks spectacular. So this is taking forever to build these um, ration packs. I usually just leave them going. Well, you know, I can do that and let me uh, just take them with me, basically. Wait until that one's finished and then I'll come back. Is there anything else worth taking? Um, probably some spare ammo. Oh, I've got a bit of extra minigun ammo there. Uh, Gatlin ammo. I've pretty much got all the fuel and O2 that I actually have. Devices. Uh, I could probably take these sentry guns. I might be able to use them. I think it has a med chamber. It definitely has uh, an armor locker. There is something it doesn't have. What doesn't the Pioneer have? I'm forgetting. Let's go and have a look. It definitely, there's one thing I, 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 that it doesn't have. I'm forgetting what it is. Right, I, I remember now. <laughs> it doesn't have offline protection, but I don't need offline protection because this is, this is single player. So <laughs> it's fine. It has the food processor. It has... Um, the med station has a oxygen station, gravity generator, um, armor locker. We should probably take some armors with us. It doesn't have a repair station, but I can't build one of those yet because actually repair stations take take rares remarkably. Which I think was rather cruel of the developers to do that, to be honest. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's dump this stuff off in the box here, and then grab the last of those ration packs, and then the materials to make them. And I'll put them in this food processor here, and then we should be good to go. I think. No doubt, there's something I'll forget uh, while we go off on our travels. Uh, the base should survive. 45% uh, power. I mean, the solars are struggling, but what I'll do before I leave is I'll just turn all the constructors off and all the unnecessaries off as well. So, you nearly done. You're manufacturing salami, of course. So, let's grab some armors. Uh, what do we need? Well, we've got an EVA, a rad, and a jetpack already. So, let's grab an insulation. Oh, yes. Shift click doesn't work. In these, let's cut, grab a couple of multis and another multi that'll do. Let's grab a heavy. What else can we use with a heavy? I could do with another arm. I could do with a armor mod. That would be nice. I've got all pretty much ones of the same here. I'll take another EVA just in case I lose one. Let's take another medium and another heavy. Oh, and a light. I'll take a light as well, actually. I know the light's looking a bit ropey. But I'll take a light because if I do stop long-term off-planet somewhere and start building a, a little base or something, then, then I've got a little light armor to, to punt around in, basically. So that, let's take that. Right, let's turn you lot off because I'm not going to be using you for a while. And um, I'm just going to use half of this here. Fill the base up a tad more. Solar's just gone down to 1%. All the water generators are still generating away. I recently harvested them. I recently harvested the garden. Um, that's all cracking on with it. That's nice. Now we've got two towers, two cannon turrets now. So I should be safe from drones. I do need to texture this place. I'm just I'm not gonna bother texturing and painting it until I've finished it or you know it's in a largely finished state. So um I, I, you know this this corner is absolutely crying out for furnaces still <laughs> and I wanna sort of carry this um I don't know what to call it. This the these blocks basically over to the furnaces in some way and incorporate and close the furnaces in, in, in this thing. Anyway, you'll see what I mean when it when it actually happens. It's all in my mind. It's in my mind uh, for now. So let's grab. What do we need? We need buds. We need fiber. We need the fruit. We need the stone dust. Um, we need the meat. Um, all the fruit and the vegetables and the grains. The spice. Definitely the spice. Let's grab that water as well. That's going to be useful to have. The grains are going to be useful because they also make. The plastic. I think um, herbal leaves. Yeah, we should probably take some herbal leaves with us. Alien parts, alien tooth. Uh, that should be that should be fine. I should take that. Uh, let's grab another water just for fun. How many stone dust did I get? Eight. I right, grab that. I got I got some stone dust in the in the constructor. It's fine. Oh. Um, we do need to bring the uh, driller. The driller needs to come up. My enormous, <laughs> somewhat oversized at this point, um, HV hanger. <laughs> it will get filled uh, with other machines. I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about replacing it with... Um, the the pup the pup the pup uh not that one there we go the excalibur i did the, did this on the um the 10 must haves for alpha 8 this is a really good i completely forgot about it when i started this let's play and i couldn't believe it the drill pup multi toy is brilliant it's a little bit uh crazy because it's basically got two cockpits one facing either way but you've got a harvester on one side and the drills on the other side which means if you get stuff stuck in, stuck in a hole you can just swap into the other cockpit and drive yourself out of the hole it's very good um, and very easy to upgrade I suspect I was thinking about replacing this thing with that but um, it's not really required at this point okay I think we're good to go 
Let's just check the base one last time. Your expected runtime is 52 hours, but obviously you'll get a bit more solar power. Turret signals turn the. Uh, I don't want to turn the lights off because. They won't kill the plant. They won't kill the plants, they just won't grow. I'll leave them on. They consume a huge amount of power. Food processors need to stay on. Generators need to stay on. LCD screens, they can go off. Uh, that light can go off. Let me just auto group everything again. Uh, lights three, they can all go off because the grown lights are under their own group, which is fine. Equipment, uh, no, turrets, trading. Uh, solar panels, ramp, O2 vents need to stay on, medic, doesn't use any power, whatever. Okay, I think we've saved enough power, as much power as we can. Sentries are still gonna, oh, ammunition, that's a good point. Now, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a problem because once I leave the playfield, it will deload and it will stop running, but, um, uh, yeah, I suppose it's it's old multiplayer habits of mine. <laughs> uh, right, let's load this up. Uh, cut some to. Right, there we go. Bingo bango, and there's some of those in there as well. Got two fridges in here. Um, I don't really need them. Might replace them with food processors because. And these fridges are a bit of a waste of power, really. And the other thing is, I get I get rid of that. It's purely decorative, and it's purely annoying. <laughs> and if I revise this, or I should say, when I revise this build, I will be dealing with that as well. Let's crank the oxygen on. Oh yeah. Let's turn power save mode off. Now the oxygen goes. There we go. Turrets on. While we're here, we may as well um, sort them out. I'm looking forward to the next update when that goes to the main release because then I can configure these on mass and not one at a time. I don't know why I'm ticking the bottom two because they don't really come up. But there we go. Okay. Uh, so okay, let's stop faffing around, Sponge, and get on with it. Let's go. Turn you guys off. You don't know. You guys don't need to be on. Uh, did I close the doors? <laughs> no, I didn't. That would annoy me no end. There we go. Doors are closed. We are ready to go. Rock and roll, ya. Yeah. Pioneer is ready for liftoff. Let's go in to outer space and see what the dealio is, yo. Yo! You know those uh, armoured concrete blocks? The, the default texture absolutely sucks. Look how light it just lights the base up like crazy. Look at it. What is that about? <laughs> you can see it a mile off. Brilliant. Anyway. We made it into space. The galaxy is our proverbial oyster, as it were. We clear the atmosphere. Look at that. Beautiful. You can tell with the Pioneer is definitely one of those ships where I had no idea what to do with the back end. <laughs> Shall we go to Qual or Voltor? I think we should go to Voltor first, just because it's got a much cooler name. <laughs> that is the what the devil is that? Look at that over there. Seeing that? I don't want to go. It looks like it's well, it's moving for starters, so it's clearly a patrol ship of some sort. Um, Pioneer is not designed to fight. It's not designed. I mean, it can deal with drones. It can deal with drones, no problem. It can deal with uh, ground drones and targets, no problem. It's got the turrets for that. But the CV to CV combat. No, 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 no. She, she's not, she's not built for that sort of stuff. Let's go to Voltor. Let's see what's up with Voltor. All right, here is Voltor. Looks like a desert planet. I suppose it would make sense. Um. 
Yeah. There's a trade center here. I see it already on the thing. Right there, admin trade station. So that's good. I'm going to hit I to turn my auto brake off. And then I'm just going to get it up to speed, 90 milliseconds. And then I'm just going to let go of the controls. And um, while that cruises along, what we can do is we can see from the map menu what asteroids we can expect in this area. Uh, iron and gold. We can also, if we then go to the sector map view, we can go to Voltor and we can see that this planet benefits from neodymium and sathium as well as iron, silicon, and promethium. So we're going to go down here, we're going to get some neodymium, we're going to get some sathium because those two are required resources for my, uh, my plans of global domination. Uh, the moon, the moon has everything, uh, the, our moon, uh, the, you know, where we came from. Uh, Jacentis Moon has. Uh, we can also go to Stritus. It does have cobalt as well. And there we go. So you don't actually need to go down on the planet to figure out what's uh, what's on there. You can see from the sector map list and map itself. So we should be approaching the planet now, Captain. Let's align ourselves with the planetary axis and prepare for something. It's it's really actually kind of... Oh, green. Green, huh? We're going with green, everybody. I'm going to turn auto brake back on now and head into the planet's atmosphere. We're going with green. Ah, that's very green. That's a lot of green. Whoa! Pull up. <laughs> Getting a lot of lag as the planet, as the planet loads. Yeah, we should be okay now. Okay, we've got POI directly. Oh, just, just off to the right of us there. What, is that an armed POI or is that a friendly POI? It's got drones around it. I can't see any guns on it. Yet. It looks like a, a ruin or like a research site. It's a listening post. It does have guns on it. Pulling away. Alright, so we need a nice place to touch down really. And then we get into the nightshade and we do some scouting and we try and find some deposits. It's not a very big planet. We can see we've uncovered all that, that schwarf of land already. Is this another armed POI here? Advanced spaceport. Yes, it will be armed. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we are taking shots. We're taking shots. We are taking fire. That's fine. Now, I've got to be careful because uh, on planet here, the power is down to 23 minutes while I'm flying around in this thing so I really need to park it and this little bit down here looks like a good place to park it so let us oh wreckage marvelous okay let's plonk it here plonk nice and flat area this planet benefits from spiders all right what was that wreckage that you used? Oh, wreckage. Large double minigun drone. It's not just any other minigun drone, it's a double minigun drone. Oh, it's just there, look. On my, just over the... It's just there. Okay. Let's pop you on power save mode, because while we're here, we... will be consuming our suit oxygen, it seems as I turn power save mode off and the oxygen disappears. Let's get you processing on more ration packs. Okay. Grab my inventory back. I do edge yeah. Okay. Um, I don't need any of the rest of that, but what I might do is get you to start producing some small O2 bottles. Which I assume is something you can do there, Mr. Constructor, sir, person. Although I am failing miserably to see them. Where do you get the small O2 bottles from then, guys? I gotta make small O2 bottles! What the... What the devil? How the hell am I supposed to... God damn it! Turn that on. Right. 
There's only two in here now. That's fine. Let's um, let's grab the nightshade and go for a little ride. Uh, let's just make sure the nightshade has got its own oxygen supply. Uh, not really. <laughs> let's grab you and you and some extra power just in case. Two of you should be fine. All right. Nightshade, my darling, my sweet, my my wonderful, wonderful machine of awesomeness. Can we go and kill that drone, please? Wow! Wow! Look at this thing! Whoa! This thing is almost completely intact. The thrusters are all running and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. I will uh, be taking this apart, I believe. Almost certainly will. Let's grab this drone. It's got some nice bits and bobs in it. All right, we are on a mission, a mish, to find these so-called Neo and Sathium deposits that are apparently on this planet. So, uh, standard search pattern of that way. We have a Sathium, a very large Sathium deposit. We have another drone. This could get interesting, guys. There are some drone activity around here. Whoa! You see that thing fire? <laughs> oh, God! Taking shots. Taking shots. Uh, we got two seriously large Sathium deposits. I guess we're still getting that message. Okay, I forgot to restart the game. Some of you guys in the last one said if I get that error, I just restart the game and it should go away. Um, yes, yes, appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're absolutely right. I just haven't restarted the game. So, let me just land. I can get this drone. I don't think I can get the other two, though. I think it's in range of that POI. This is very much a mining trip and not a conquest trip. Now, the conquest trip... That will come later, in a later episode. Once, you know, I have, like, a Crusader tank or something, and the Naganata, and I can just, like, literally sit my fat butt on the face of POIs and not even blink, and they just get melted away by superior firepower. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. Oh, there's a Promi de deposit up there as well. I just I missed that, but that's right now in the POI. I could probably take it out with the nightshade, but that's sort of not what I'm here to do. We are in a night vision mode. And that is a bloody great big floaty thing. Bloody great big floaty thing. Look at that, there's POIs everywhere on this planet. That bloody great big floaty thing, I don't think, is going to be very friendly to me. That's a patrol ship. That's a defense three. I think we have arrived, and that's a neodymium deposit, and we are going to have to engage some dronage here. Let's hope that we... Oh, boy. Let's swing it round quickly before these drones start shooting at me back. All right. We found a neo deposit, but it's kind of. I mean, he's coming right. <laughs> he's a cheeky bastard. No. Oh crap! Bad place to freeze. I need to restart the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure really about the uh, the acquiring of that neodymium deposit, given the uh, defense of it. Are you? Mr. Patrol Vessel, are you are you having to go, or are you flying off? Because it's the other thing is I don't want to happen is is while I'm away from the Pioneer, that Mr. Patrol Vessel there just goes and screws it royally at the backside while I'm uh, playing away. So I have to keep things relatively sort of close by. But that is uh, quite incredible what we just uncovered there in terms of the sheer number of POIs. This planet is mad. There's another new deposit that I think we'll be better off going for. 
Whoa, you're a large plasma drone, and you nearly hit me in the face with a plasma shot. That could have been, um, that could have been interesting. Ah, crap. Whoa, let's uh, try too many barrel rolls there. Let's level her out. <laughs> And let's set it down. There's some uh, pentaxid crystals there. I'm going to say. We have some serious radiation. And we also have some serious heat. Look at the heat. And look at the radiation. I am too hot already. I need to get inside. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And also, we have uh, we just attracted some company here. Look. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Error Message. There we got some uh, golems. Very tough golems. Now this is a problem, actually. Uh, oh God, I can't really see anything with night vision on. Can't really see anything with it off. This is a problem that I haven't actually catered for. With the whole drill maker, drill maker hole thing, you make a thing, eh? Uh, it has an exposed cockpit, and uh, well, that particular area, especially, was not particularly hospitable to you know skin. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what to do. I think. I think I might need to recycle it into the the pup, as it were, because I don't think the drill hole maker thing you're sitting in it while I'm drilling out the neodymium deposit at 150 degrees C is gonna gonna last. I'm sure the HV would be fine. I, on the other hand, would not be. So, uh, so yeah, there's there's that it is problem. I'm just gonna check back at the Pioneer because uh, my spider senses are tingling at the moment, and um, I don't want to leave it for too long on its own on this this quite extreme planet. Voltor! The planet of the dead! This place is pretty severe. It's not too big though, so we should be we should be able to get through it pretty quickly with the Sathium and Neo that we're looking for. And that's what i got to remember what we're here for. We've got to remember I'm here for the resources. I'm not here for the fun of taking on all those POIs, although uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> and when we get to that, it's going to be fun. I do need some... I do need a bigger tank. I need a Naganata, that's what I need. I need the Naganata. For those of you not familiar with the Naganata, I did a Chilling and Building series on it. You're welcome to, to go have a look at the, the, the playlist on my channel. A Chilling and Building of the uh, the PvP ship, the Naganata. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. She's a bit of a beast. Okay. Pioneer's okay. That's fine. So yeah, this is the dilemma. This thing, open cockpit. Open cockpit. Um, so I might accelerate my plans to upgrade to this bad boy. 42 minutes in the factory. Let's pop it in the factory now. Let's see. How far are we? We're not... Goddamn spiders! That freaked me. I thought he was in the hangar with me. Where is he? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't just don't want. Hey, uh, missing a shut door. Uh, I don't want to deal with you. You can go away. All right, let's close the door on that. Uh, let's take this apart then, and I will chuck. I'll chuck everything into the factory. Let's uh, just get. Drill hound. Let's manage that. Seven three four. Grab you. Thank you very much. Sorry about the banging and crashing in the background. There we go. All right, let's take this part. I'm just going to chuck it all straight into the factory. Sorry, drill, drill hound, drill hole, make a make a thingy. You've been wonderful. I've really worked it to death on on uh, Jacantis, was it? Jacantis, J whatever it is. Um, mining those deposits out. So she's done a good job. I'm just being careful to avoid the core because obviously the core um, is what is enabling me to get whole blocks back at the moment. So if you are salvaging something. Um, you should always try and make sure that you have a core attached to it. As as 
as a lot of you do rightly point out to me when I start taking things apart without a core. These shut doors need to shut up. Um, so try if you are salvaging something, try and leave the core as the last block, and that means you get you get all the whole blocks back. And now I'm just it's a case of just chucking all of this into the factory here. Uh, you, you, and you. And uh, you don't need to chuck you in there because you came from a drone. Um, we're a bit short. We're a bit short, but this is why. Ow, my face. This is why we brought some extras with us. We brought uh, we brought some extras. So what I can do is we need what uh, what's that? Two hundred or so iron. A split. Oh wow, that was almost perfect. There we go. There's the iron. Uh, silicon. We need like about a hundred. And a bit. There we go. And copper, we about the same. So we'll 100 and a bit. So we right click a stack and it halves it. And then if you grab a stack and then right click into like a container, it just places one. You probably already knew that, but. 14 minutes. That's not too bad. 14 minutes. So that'll be ready by the next episode. Um, but let's. While that's cooking, let's take the Pioneer, just dump that. A nice little bit of tanks in there, so that's going to be useful. Let's dump you power. Dump you all back in there. Oh, I've got a thing there. Optical fiber snuck its way down there, did it? Okay, good. Let's take the Pioneer um, around the planet, and I know it's an inefficient way of doing it, but um, the planet's not too big. And I just don't feel comfortable leaving it here. So I'm going to head east this time. Especially with a patrol vessel around, you know. You can sneak up on me at any moment. You leave a little CV like this on its own. Patrol vessel will eat it alive. I mean, don't get me wrong. Pioneer will absolutely fight back. But <laughs> like I said earlier, it's not designed for CV, CV combat. It can deal with drones. Like, I wouldn't park it above that POI down there. It would probably win, but I'd probably end up losing too much of the ship to make it worthwhile. There's something as little as that POI, so. Um, I do want to get close enough to them to discover them, but not so close that. There we go. That they shoot me. I want to make sure I got my um, waypoints on. Which I do. Oh, hello. Flip the camera. I'm only running on the 1,000 meter range detector in my bag or my, in my hot bar at the moment, which doesn't help. The hover vessel detector is so much more powerful, obviously, but again, you're in the same position where uh, you've got to leave your mothership behind. How's our night vision in this? No, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm just going to fly in a straight line, basically, and uh, try and make it all the way around. To the side. I should be coming up to this cluster of POIs. And once I get to that point, I'll head uh, south and we'll do it again, basically. There, we've got something north of us. Let's go check that out. It's an iron deposit. Oh, and some droneages. It seems that all the deposits here just do, do have drones on them. My turrets will uh, have fun destroying them. Good work, boys. Good work. And I think that's a POI up ahead. No, oh, uh, maybe not. I think it's. I think it's a big tree. <laughs> There's something on my left, though. Let me get some height. What is? Why are they all gathered around that mountain? What is that about? Look at this. Three drones just clustered on top of this mountain. Are they stuck? Oh, plasma drones. A double minigun drone. <laughs> a double minigun drone. That was pretty cool when that thing shot at me, though. Something south. Let's see what we get. Uh, we got a silicon deposit. Okay. And then we get some internal errors. I still haven't restarted my game. i got to try and remember that for the next recording, ideally. I think we're probably coming up behind those POIs now, which we are, yes. So, I've done a full circuit around the planet there. 
And now what I'll do is basically head south. Probably head to this trading station actually, check that out. And then do another circuit around the planet. And that will leave sort of a, li a thin strip in the middle somewhere. Uh, that we can we can deal with later but for now I'm gonna call that episode there um, it's been been a fairly successful uh, excursion to this planet doom <laughs> Volta uh, <laughs> and in the next episode I'll continue its exploration um, and I'll do a bit of mining I'll do the mining sort of off-camera stuff well actually I want to show you Excalibur's uh, miner and, and you know uh, how successful it is as a miner um, so we'll do a bit of on-camera mining on the next episode, um, but other than, I'll, I'll cut most of it because, you know, mining, isn't it, at the end of the day. <laughs> Look at this! It's a drone carnage! This is this is why you fly CVs around the planet. It's just pepper the drones. It's like kicking puppies. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. Look at them. They had no chance. They had no chance. Except for these error messages. That was their only chance. But anyway, I'm going to call this episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and as always, if you did, consider giving it a like down below. That would be wonderful. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm always uploading new Imperium content. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Errors! God damn it. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>